All right, are you tired of your rising grocery bills? Are you tired of every single time you go to that grocery store, you are completely shocked by what the prices are at this point? I know our family is six. Our budget has skyrocketed since the pandemic. And some weeks it really stresses me out buying the stuff that I normally bought and it used to be under $200 and now it's about $400. And so I am challenging myself to use everything from our fridge freezer and pantry. So come along with me. This month we are going to do a freezer and pantry challenge. So I feel like a lot of people do this at the beginning of the year, like in January to try to like not waste and clear out all old stuff and stuff like that. But I'm finding that we're quite a few months into the year and I definitely need to do one. So we're downstairs in my basement pantry and in this pantry we have a couple of deep freezers also and then we have two more fridge freezers and our freezers are pretty darn full and as much as we do use through most of the stuff in these freezers i know in my mind there's a couple more things in these freezers that we have not touched specifically one freezer that we have not touched most of the stuff in there for months and months so this is my challenge to get going on it all right i am going to apologize for any lighting like i said we are in a basement there's only so much i can control and I have gloves on. I borrowed my little five-year-old's gloves because we're going to be getting into a freezer and digging through there. So this is my basement pantry. And this is where we keep all our extra sauces and canned goods and such things like that. Um, and as you can see, some of these things now are being on the ground. Either we just bought them like these Honey Nut Cheerios and these two things we just got and they just haven't found their home up here. I try to not leave anything on the ground at all. So that's part of the challenge today is to get everything organized. And really this is very organized. <laughs> like all this makes sense to me. Um, up top we have all of our cereals. Then we have all our noodles. We do have a thing of mashed potatoes there we have been using through. Over here I have tons and tons of raisins. I just I have to figure out ways that we can get through these because otherwise it's not going to happen. Um, I stock up on like pears, peaches, apricots, applesauce, all this kind of stuff because my kids love it and every time that we have any of this stuff we end up using like three cans of it. And so this amount, I'll show you the depth of these, I mean it's kind of a deep shelf but not severely. but. I mean, we end up using through all this fruit really well, so I'm not worried about that. All right, so these black beans, my mother just gave us a whole bunch of black beans and we definitely, oh my gosh, we don't need any more for at least six months, at least. I think we have more down here on this shelf, like here at the bottom also. So black beans we use for like burritos or taco soup, stuff like that. And I usually use two cans at a time. Then we have some mixed veggies, some tomato or vegetable soups. Not too worried about that. I have a few things of um, popcorn. We end up getting through those really well. This, I just restocked those chicken broths. So all those are new and we go through that really, really well. Also, we have a few uh, pizza dough mixes way back here. And like a lot of this stuff actually I just got because we were out of like this strawberry jam I just got. My mom gave us this hot fudge so we just need to end up using that. Um, these are sauces like steak sauces. All right, and if you guys have never used a sweet bourbon glaze from the Pepper Palace it's a barbecue sauce. It's really sweet. It's so good. If you guys have never used that, you're really, really missing out. I was missing it so much because our closest one is at least three and a half hours away. And so I ended up ordering and I think you have to order like six of them at a time. So I have those in there. Like I said, our steak sauce. I'm not too worried about those because we're coming up on grilling season. Peanut butter. We go through a lot of peanut butter. Um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I mean, we use it only for a couple recipes, so we'll see if we'll get through that. See, we have Miracle Whip, pizza sauces, ranch, ketchup, you know, stuff that you do go through. This is all, like over here I had organized that it was all vegetables over here and all beans over here, and I noticed that it's all gotten mixed. And then usually here in the middle, it's cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup and then tuna or canned chicken in the middle. 
down here. I see my 12 year old, she came down here the other morning. She woke up at 6.30 in the morning and she actually reorganized some of this stuff for me. What a sweetheart. So down here you can see is a lot of our baking stuff. We do have a huge can of mandarin oranges and then I see she ran out of space so she put the peaches down here. And so, I mean, a lot of this stuff are sweets that, like everybody is banned from buying more sweets for now. All right, then when we come over, if you look, here is this shelf. If you just come right over to the side, um, these are some extra chips that we have either from Aldi's or from Sam's Club. A lot of times at Sam's Club, you have to buy two at a time, like the mix and match. There for a while, you didn't have to, but I feel like mine's going back to it. We have a huge thing of rice. Then there is a whole bunch of, let me show you how many we truly have, a whole bunch of mac and cheese. So my mother, all these blue top ones, my mother just gave to us and the kids do like it, so it will get used. And then the Kraft mac and cheese are ones that I had already bought from Sam's Club and those come in like I think an 18 pack and so you get a lot of them when you buy them so regardless it will fill up the shelf um, we use two if just the kids are eating it and then if all six of us are eating it we use three boxes so we'll go through this quite well over the next couple of months and then um, I just bought more tortilla shells because again that's something we go through a lot we usually always have extra Velveeta I just bought these um, a few weeks ago because we need to pack lunches on Mondays and then um, this is like some shells and cheese or it looks like there's like some tuna helper and some hamburger helper that's something my daughter wanted so we got a few of it and then oh my gosh guys I cannot believe this I wish I would have asked my daughter I just ordered more Pam from Sam's Club because I thought that I had grabbed the last one look guys I have five and now I have two more coming. Oh, I should go see if I can cancel that. <laughs> All right, down here is, this is like a medicine section. So we have Miralax and Pedialyte. Um, Miralax, my, one of my daughters used to be on it three times per day. So you can go through it really fast, but now she's not needing it. So it's kind of sitting there. I should look at what the expiration date is because actually I have a few like friends that have kids that are on Miralax and so I can always gift it to them and then this is like all the baking stuff on the next two so something I definitely want to do like we just bought these flour and sugar I want to get those up off the floor here too and then um, shells and cheese we just bought those so those just need to get unpacked and get up here with their friends a lot of these beans my mother also gave me like um I will use these great northern beans but like these red lentils I won't use these but I love making sensory bins for my kids for these so I told her hey if you're not gonna use them like I have a crafty idea for them so that's what these are gonna go for all right, if you continue to follow that wall down, we have this little space. This is all of like the paperware, the cleaners, um, nothing flammable though. I guess I do have one flammable thing, the glass cleaner that I should move because we are literally right next to our furnace. So I'll move those and get them into a cleaning closet instead. But otherwise, it's just the stuff we buy in bulk from Sam's Club. We just need somewhere to store like all of the extras. All right, so this is a very long, skinny room, basically. This is a fridge that we are going to be getting rid of. We barely have anything in it. I don't even know if there's anything in it. And in fact, it's nasty. Um, oh, so we have some drink mixes. It looks like we have some fruit cups. Those are eggs I just bought because we've been going through so many eggs. We have some butter and the rest are just drink mixes that honestly, half of them probably need thrown out. And then half of this stuff in this freezer probably needs thrown out too. It was kind of gifted to us and our kids ended up trying some of it and it's stuff that they like just didn't really enjoy. And then there's just a few things that we will still eat. So I feel horrible about tossing some stuff, but yet there's still like quite 
quite a bit of usable things in there too. Our goal is, is to eat up enough that we bought a new fridge for our kitchen and we moved our kitchen one out to our garage. And so this one we are going to get rid of. We're either gonna sell it or donate it or whatever it's getting out of our house. So then right next to it, we have a deep freeze. Now our deep freeze, if you could see the size of my hand, they are not the very long deep freeze, which works really well for us. We have two of them. So two of them really equals one deep freeze. So if we look at this, all right, so this one is more our convenience food. And like I said, I just did a Sam's Club haul um, four days ago. And so a lot of this stuff is really fresh from there. And I did a Walmart haul. So we have Waffle Wednesday every single Wednesday morning. My son is obsessed with waffles. So I bought the big pack of them at Sam's Club. So that's what this is from. And then we got the two pack of pizza rolls from Sam's Club too. Then my daughter's been wanting some popcorn shrimp. So I bought a big pack of that. Let's see what else we have in here. Um, these Tostinos pizzas, these come in a pack of four. So that's why there's so many. The, this bacon was on sale at one of our local grocery stores for $1.99 per packet, which is super cheap. So I went ahead and stocked up because usually when we make a big breakfast as a family, we need two pounds of bacon. So that will go through it very fast. Um, we have a whole bunch of fruit that we do use for smoothies, but I feel like I need to consolidate all the fruit into one area. Let's see, we have some frozen yogurts because my kids think that's super fun to do. We have some frozen pepperoni. We definitely get through that fine. Oh, it looks like we have some mozzarella sticks, some sherbet that is probably freezer burnt. We'll see. Um, oh, these... These are from Sam's Club too, thick sourdough bread. Um, it's a ham and cheese. It's kind of like the Frisco breakfast sandwich at Hardee's. So I bought these and I'm not in love with them. I might try it again, like maybe, I don't know, it, it seemed dry. So maybe I'll add another slice of cheese or something to it and we'll see. I liked how much protein is in it and I like the convenience so when I go to work, but I don't love them. So if I end up not wanting those, I know, like I know a family member that would love them. All right, what else do we have down here? Oh, yummy. This is perfect. Sweet potatoes, carrots, and red potatoes. This will be really good as a side for a meal. Um, otherwise, it's mostly bacon and waffles. <laughs> I know I'm just throwing stuff around, but I'm gonna come in and organize it. Um, these are pulled pork that are freezer sealed, and so those are one of the things I think I'm going to be using. Look, basically an empty box in here. Um, one single White Castle sliders. These my kids don't like because they have onions on them that you can't easily pick off. And then we have two Uncrustables that can go upstairs because we have like a very convenient way of packing our lunches. Look, one thing down already. And underneath there, I'll have to see what all that is. All right, and then our last freezer is over here. If you could see, I have a paper down here that um, this is the video we're doing, a grocery budget challenge. It's a freezer pantry shopping, like shop your own freezer and pantry. And so I wrote down a few of the things I knew just right away that are in my freezers that we can use up. Like this is stuff that was at the top of my mind to get onto the menu. All right, so this is the freezer that isn't being touched. And you can see it's packed full. And I think that's why it's not being touched because we can't even get to the stuff. So um, we just got this huge pork loin. And so that can be a meal in and of itself. How many pounds is this? This thing is huge. It doesn't really say how many pounds, but this, this thing is massive. All right, so then I'm sure this ice cream is probably freezer burnt. Also, we have a lot of these blueberries, like this is blueberries, blueberries, blueberries blueberries we don't need blueberries like i said we have smoothie mixes um this is 
boneless skinless chicken meat that is already cut into strips so I already have like chicken and rice that we're going to use this there's only a couple I think like two to three of these um chicken breasts left in here and then it looks like I have some cinnamon rolls I have some hamburger meat um this this is like some lunch meat that we need to use up um Ooh, we have some cookies down there. We have some whipped topping. All right, I'm going to just start getting through this, and then I'll let you guys know what all we have options for for menu. All right, we're getting further down into here. And actually, whew, actually, a lot of this stuff is stuff that my kids have been wanting, like these Hot Pockets. And then these are um, pancakes and sausage on a stick. And so they like those for breakfast. I see some like chicken breasts. I mean, a lot of this stuff is stuff that is very useful. And because this has been so cram full, we have not been digging through it to get to it. So I'm going to keep digging through it. All right. We got all the way down to the bottom. Now, as I took them out, I kind of organized them into categories. Like I put all the fruit together, all the meat together, so forth and so on. And so I'm going to look through it real quick and get some ideas in my head for a menu. So I have these two wire baskets that I already, I was using to store basically, um, I think our computer paper in it. And instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and group like things. Like I'm going to put all the bacon together and then see what the next meat is that we have a lot of. And that way they can group together. And then down here, I already got one of these little fabric storage bins to put all of our fruit into it. So I'm going to group everything together. While I am grouping stuff together, I went ahead and opened up. This is the second freezer that had all the pizzas and the waffles and such in it. So I'm digging through it and I'm putting like items all together. There was so much bacon in this freezer also. And then I put all of the waffles back together. So we're going to keep emptying out this freezer. Ooh, freezer number two, empty. Now the two fridge freezers that are upstairs, I'm not that worried about. Those are things that get cycled through very often. So I know everything that's in them is good and organized and such. It's more these two that are downstairs in the basement. So again, going to group more like items. I really want to find more baskets or containers to group the items in. So I might go looking for that first. All right, I shopped my house. Well, really I shopped two rooms and I ended up finding these two dish pans. And then I found um, these two, they're like little crates. They're really small, but I feel like those could work for some things. And then we have this big box I feel like would fit really well into these freezers. So I just got the chips out of it and I put those into a wooden basket that I had. So that just gives me five more things to be able to organize better with. All right, I know I'm talking fast, but this is frozen food, so I'm trying to get it right back in the freezer. All right, so none of this will be ideal, but it's at least organized, and I know in my head exactly what's in here so we can get it used. So this turkey and this little turkey will go on top of everything. That is not ideal, but if I put those on the bottom, nothing's going to stack right. So all our juices, these are like lunch meat, ham bone, um, sausage patties. This is all of my ground beef items. And then I have pork loin. And then over here also I have uh, the pulled pork. Underneath here in the big bin is all of the frozen fruit. So we could very easily just lift up this bin because it's in a dishwashing pan, I think is what you call them. Um, so we can easily lift that up and get access to the fruit. And then this is like sides, and so this will go on top of that one. So all I have left to find space for are pizza rolls, cinnamon rolls, these sourdough breakfast sandwiches, pepperoni, and then these few sweet things, which all of the breakfast items I think are going to go in this one with the bacon and such. Here, let me clear it off and I'll show you. All right, this is the second one and this one worked out really really good so underneath here I ended up putting that cardboard box and all of my chicken is in it this one has all the breakfast items and then this is breakfast meat like the chicken fried steak the sausage and then all of the bacon but I'm just gonna keep this as a breakfast area and so we're gonna put the cinnamon rolls into there and then we are going to put 
all these sourdough egg ham and cheese sandwiches in there now if I try these again and I don't like them I am going to give them to my family member that definitely will like them all right I got this freezer done I got this freezer done um, I kind of just quickly organize this area I mean most of it's already organized there's only so much you could do with that stuff and then I got most of the stuff up off the floor except for this sugar and flour I'm actually going to look for bigger long-term storage ideas for that and then put them into those big plastic containers otherwise everything's organized here and then everything got up off the floor and into a space here. So I have written down a few menu ideas, but I'm going to go upstairs and sit down and think about it so that I'm not freezing down here. All of this only took like 15 minutes. I went through it super, super quick. I'm just going to try to figure out what all we can use from mostly our freezers because all this is like canned stuff, so I'm not worried about it going bad. It's actually all pretty fresh stuff. It's more the freezer stuff that I need to get through. And both those freezers, out of both of them, the only waste thing was, was one five-pound bag of frozen chicken breasts and then I think a two pound package of frozen chicken breast, both of those were freezer burnt. And so those were going out into the trash. But other than that, there was no waste, which I'm so happy about because I was really fearful there was gonna be a lot of waste. All right, this video is going to be long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. I'm sitting down, I'm coming up with a menu plan. I already have so many different ideas. Um, I've already pulled our first one that we are going to make, and I'm going to be sharing that in another video. So I will be taking you along to let you know what all we're cooking out of there to get rid of our fridge, pantry, and freezer excess stock. Um, so, so far I have pulled pork, chicken and rice, smoothies, tenderloin, shrimp, pizza rolls, turkey sandwiches, tacos. There is so much more down there and I just need to sit down and think, but it is supper time. So I have to get my family fed and daddy just left for some work items. So it's on me. All right, here's a little sneak peek into what we're using for the first night and I will see you on the next video.